Hey everyone, this is Zach with Modal AI. I'm going to be showing you how to use Mav SDK on the Voxel 2 to interface with Hiddle. So, as you can see um, from the screen, I'm just running two separate terminal instances running Ubuntu 20.04. What you can't see is that I have my computer plugged into a Voxel 2, just connected over a, a USB A to USB C. And then I also have that same parent computer connected uh, for running Hiddle. So I'm using the uh, the Hiddle port, aka the DSP ESC port on the Voxel 2, connected to my parent computer. So let's actually get Mav SDK onto the Voxel 2. So as you can see here from the screen, that I have a Voxel Docker Mav SDK repository. Inside here we have five files. You don't really have to pay attention to the three over here. If you're planning on building from source after you've cloned this repo from GitLab, all you do is you run dot slash build image sh just like that hit enter and then it will actually push everything to the voxel to run these executables and download the proper um, docker file and build it the other option that you can do is if you don't want to wait the 20 minutes that it takes to build from source go to the modal ai downloads page and download this voxel mavis uk tarball which contains the docker image pre-built so once the docker image has been pushed and has been executed on the voxel 2 i can add shell into it and I can go to data, docker, Mav SDK. Inside here, you'll see a file called run docker.sh. I just run that executable, and then boom, I'm dropped inside the Docker instance ready to go. Inside that Docker instance, inside the home directory, there are four, uh, well, two directories and two files. We have the Mav SDK uh, repository, which is the C instance of Mav SDK. We have the Mav SDK Python iteration, and then we have two executables. We have the C++ Voxel2 takeoff and LAN, and the Voxel2 takeoff and LAN.py. Obviously, the, the .py version is the Python instance, and then this one is the C++ executable. Both do the exact same thing. So, while that's just running, I'm gonna go to another terminal instance. I'm gonna ADB shell into my Voxel2 and show you guys the necessary uh, background services required to run and communicate with PX4 um, and run that Mav SDK at the same time. So those two services are Voxel Vision Hub and Voxel Mav Link Server. So if I go into etc modal AI Voxel Vision Hub .com, these are the two um, parameters that I need to uh, have running correctly and localhost Mav Link UDP and localhost UDP port number. So we'll scroll down to the actual list to the JSON and we see that we want n localhost Mavlink UDP to be set to true and localhost UDP port number to be 14.551. I exit out of that. I run a pseudo system control enable, or in our case, let's just do restart voxel vision hub. And then if I look in ETC modal AI voxel Mavlink server, you will see that I have my secondary static GCS IP set to 127001. So that's what I need to be set to. And then I just do a pseudo system control restart voxel Mavlink server, just like that. And that's it. Those are the two services that I need to run in order to interact with PX4 and Mav SDK. So from this point onwards, on my right-hand terminal, I'm going to run Gazebo. Um, if you want to know how to do this, follow. you can find that at the Modal AI documentation uh, website uh, where we go over how to actually get Hiddle running on a parent Ubuntu instance. So I just, I'm going to get that spun up real quick. And as you can see, it opened a serial device on TTY USB 0, and that is now uh, streaming UDP or Mavlink packets uh, to my Voxel 2. And so now I'm going to run voxel px4 hiddle on the voxel2 and it's going to spin up px4 and actually ingest the Mavlink packets coming over the wire to the voxel2. So now that that's running, I'm just going to go back to my Mav SDK window and I'm going to run the C++ version because it's a bit more uh, labor intensive, but not by much you'll see. Um, I'm just going to run dot slash voxel2 takeoff land and then I put UDP and I put my port. I put 14551 and I'm going to hit enter. If I want to run the Python instance, all I do is literally dot slash voxel2 takeoff land dot py just like that. I just don't put the UDP part afterwards. So, but we're going to run version one. 
in the C++ instance, and I do. Ooh, whoops. Looks like my gazebo instance crashed, so we'll just get that up real quick. Again, sorry, I'm running a pretty old computer. I do 14.551. Let's make sure that my connection was reestablished. Looks like we're good. And I hit enter, and you'll see that now the drone on the right-hand side is spinning. Altitude is being printed out. We're taking off. Landing. Printing the entire time. We're still spinning, but it's going to print out when it's dis disarmed. So landing detected, disarmed by landing. And eventually it's going to break out of this loop. And boom, we're landed. And then it breaks, and we're out of it. Now if you want the same thing you, in Python, you just run this executable. And that is how you run Mavis DK with Hiddle.